Hi guys, I'm back. As you know, I'm Shweta, and you are watching Quick Facts Official. We all see so many different types of flowers and their unique color in day-to-day basis. But how a particular flower get its own color? Are you got to know answer for this? The answer will be in this video. But before starting, you can also follow me on Instagram, and the link is in the description below. Come, let's get started. Colors are made up of pigments and generally speaking the fewer the pigments the lighter the color it's known for everyone but the question is how do flowers get their pigments the most common pigments in flowers come in the form of anthocyanins these pigments range in color from white red blue yellow and purple and even black and brown but the flowers are not only in this color right the different kinds of pigment class is made up of the carotenoids Carotenoids are responsible for some pigments like yellows, oranges and reds. The interesting thing is these little guys are what cause the brilliant colors of autumn leaves. Wait 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 before going to next fact I thought of making a video on how flowers get their fragrance and what are the benefits of it. If you are keen to know about it then please do comment s in the comment section below. I hope you will do that. Let's go ahead with the fact now. While many flowers get their colors from either anthocyanins or carotenoids, there are some that can get their color from a combination of both. Yes, that's true. Colors you see in flowers come from the DNA of a plant. Genes in plant's DNA direct cells to produce pigments of various colors. That's really a great network. When a flower is red, for instance, it means that the cells in the petals have produced a pigment. that absorbs all colors of light when you look at that flower it reflects red light so it appears to be red anthocyanins and carotenoids are the main source of flower coloration but there are other factors that can affect how color present themselves then what are the other factors the amount of light flower receive while they grow the temperature of the environment around them and the ph level of the soil in which they grow can affect their coloration not only humans get stressed even plants also you heard it correctly another factor is stress from the environment this stress can include flood or even a lack of nutrition in the soil all of which can dampen the coloration of flowers thanks for watching i hope you like this video if you liked it Please give a big thumbs up and share with your friends and family. And if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified by my latest video. And don't forget to comment S in the comment section below. In my next video, I am coming with something interesting and unique. Until then, bye bye.